What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today is Wednesday, so I have a water change scheduled for my 125 gallon African cichlid tank. And uh, I thought I would show you guys how I do my water changes. Super easy. Um, if you spend just a little bit of money, and I'll show you how to actually save money while doing this. But if you spend a little bit of money, uh, you really won't need to carry any sort of buckets. Carrying buckets, 5 gallon buckets with a 125 gallon tank uh, just just doesn't really, isn't, isn't something that I want to do. So what I've done is I've created a do-it-yourself Python system. And if you guys know what, don't know what the Python system is, it's, it's a system that allows for easy water changes using your faucet. So... Uh, as you can see, I've got everything shut off in my tank. All my filters and heater and everything is turned off. The only thing that is actually still running is this power head right here. Um, and I just don't turn that off simply out of laziness because the water doesn't ever get down that low during a water change. So I just leave it plugged in. But if you follow me, you can see that I've got the hose in the tank and it's ready to start siphoning water out. So don't mind the mess. I haven't cleaned yet today, but we'll follow the hose. Oop, there's my dog. Say hi, Zoe. Hi, booby booby. All right, so follow the hose. Again, it's laundry day. I haven't cleaned up yet. And this exhaust fan in the bathroom is really loud, so I'm sorry if it gets uh, noisy, but I have my system hooked up to an adapter. And all I need to do with this little nozzle, since the nozzle's down, if I turn the water on, this will actually create a siphon. So if we go back to the fish room, even though you won't really be able to tell, the water is actually being siphoned out. And it actually sucks it out at a pretty good rate. Now because I, I do water changes on the 125 every Wednesday and every Sunday, and I do changes on the fish, the planted tank every Sunday. This is not a big change. I'm not going to be sucking up any poop. I'm not going to be cleaning the glass. This is simply just to get about 30 to 40 percent new water into the fish tank. And th this is, I do a pretty heavy water change uh, schedule because African cichlids poop a lot and they eat a lot and I feed them a lot. Uh, I overfeed them. So to counteract, um, that leading to bad water quality, I make sure that I do a lot of water changes. So again, this is being, this right here is sucking the water out of the fish tank. And really at this point, what I normally do is I just go watch TV. Um, I just sit right on my couch uh, and I wait and every once in a while I'll come back and I'll check on the tank. And uh, when it gets down to about, for me, when it gets down to about that ledge there, you can see the ledge on the right hand side of the tank, that's about 40%. So if I'm doing a 40%, I let it get down to about that far. If I do a 30%, I kind of just eyeball it. Really, it's not exact science. But I'm going to uh, pause the video here and I'll show you what I do, because really this is all I do to get the water out. I'll show you what I do to get the water back in and quite honestly, that's even easier than getting the water out of the tank. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and the faucet has sucked out about 40% water I would say, 35-40% of the water. So what I've done is I've stopped the siphon by taking the hose out of the water and I've attached a Python, actually I don't even know the name of it, it's made by a company called Python, it's called like a fill hook or an aquarium hook, I'll have a link to that in the description as well as the uh, the faucet attachment in the description. The faucet attachment, I believe, was like five bucks. This I really couldn't find for any cheaper than 20, but really it is well worth it. Um, one time I was filling up my 125, this tank here, and I was sitting on my couch watching TV, and I checked on it about 10 minutes later and realized that the hose had slipped out of the tank and I had been watering my room for about 10 minutes, filling up my room with water. Uh, that really wasn't fun, so I promptly bought this, and what this does is it just simply hooks onto your tank, and it ensures that uh, that the, the hose won't fall out as you're filling up the tank. 
Now I will say the first couple times, I, the first time I should say, I didn't tighten this well enough to the hose and it was leaking water out of here, just maybe a couple drops every minute or so. But just make sure if you get this and you use it, make sure you put this on as tight as you can. It comes off really easily, so don't worry about over tightening it. It is made of plastic, but it is very, very thick plastic. It's very durable and I highly recommend getting it. So now that we're ready to put water back in the tank, I've already used my dechlorinator. I use and recommend Seachem Prime uh, for just a small little 500 milliliter bottle that'll cost you maybe 10 bucks. One cap is 50 gallons. So this bottle lasts a very long time. Now, hi Zuby. Let me show you what I do. So what I do now that I'm ready to fill back up with water is that I come back here I'm gonna leave the light off so that you guys don't have to hear the exhaust fan. But this was at a down position. See, it's at a down position. That sucks the water out. If you wanna put water back in, all you've gotta do is lift and rotate, and now it's ready to put water back in. But what I wanna do before that is I actually wanna turn on the hot water a little bit, and I wanna turn on the cold water full blast. And let that run for a second. And now this is for my faucet, it might be a little bit different for your faucet, but what I know that's going to do is it's going to get my water temperature right where I need it to be, okay? And I've been doing this for a while, so I've got it down pretty good, just with touch, but you can play with it yourself. Like right now I can feel it's a little too hot, so I'll turn down the cold, the hot, I'll turn down the hot water a little bit. I'm feeling with my hand. Still a little too warm, so I'll turn it down a little bit more. And that feels about right. So what I'm gonna do is lift up and turn. And now what's doing, what it's doing, is yet there's gonna be a little bit of water just running out here. It's fine, it's not gonna suck anything out. What it's doing is actually shoving the water back through the hose and into the tank. Now I've, I am, this is completely free. This water changed so far, I'm about 15 minutes into the water change. Did I say completely free? I meant completely hands free. No carrying. I'm about 15 minutes into my water change and all I've done is I've, I've flicked a couple switches or I've turned on the faucet and really I've just been sitting on the couch watching uh, YouTube videos of, of PUBG, a video game, uh, highlights. And it's, that, that's all I do. The water's been dechlorinated, the water's at the right temperature, and it's just filling, the tank's just filling itself back up. Now, do I have five gallon buckets? Yeah, of course, you need five gallon buckets to hold things. Uh, just in the fish keeping hobby, you're, I'm gonna recommend at least one or two five gallon buckets. You, you need them here and there. But for your standard water change, you don't. Do not hurt your back, do not waste your energy carrying buckets. So, I could show you the video, the rest of the video of this, filling up but at this point you guys know what to do let the water fill up turn everything back on and you're done and you're good to go uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just let that play though uh, I'm gonna cut the video here but I highly recommend these products it makes the fish keeping hobby so so easy um, if you guys haven't checked out my last video I made a video on uh, five things to save money and heartache or headaches in the fish keeping hobby and the Python system was one of them. This is what I was referring to. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out that video, please check out that video. If you guys found this informative or if you learned anything about the, how to do an easier water change, please give me a like, share the video. Uh, your support means a lot to me. I'm trying to get this channel to grow a little bit in the fish keeping hobby. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.